is close to the scene of that attack, Pat. Moments ago, uh, I spoke to the chief of safety for the New York City Fire Department. Chief Albert Turry told me that he received word of the possibility of a secondary device, that is another bomb going off. Uh, he tried to get his men out as quickly as he could, but he said that there was another explosion which took place. And then an hour after the first hit here, with the first crash that took place, he said, uh, there was a, another explosion that took place uh, in one of the towers here. Uh, so obviously, he, according to his theory, he thinks that there were actually devices that were planted in the building. Shortly after 9-11, the New York Fire Department recorded over 500 oral histories in which firefighters and emergency medical workers recounted their experiences of that day. Mayor Bloomberg's administration refused to release these oral histories. But the New York Times, joined by several families of the 9-11 victims, filed suit. And after a very long process, the city was ordered by the New York Court of Appeals to release these oral histories. The Times then made these oral histories available. These oral histories contain many dozens of testimonies that speak of explosions and related phenomena characteristic of controlled demolition. Several people reported a single explosion followed by collapse of one tower or the other. Many people reported multiple explosions. Paramedic Kevin Darnowski said, I heard three explosions and then Tower 2 started to come down. Firefighter Thomas Turilli said, it almost sounded like bombs going off, like boom, 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 like seven or eight. Craig Carlson said that he and other firefighters heard explosions coming from the South Tower. There were about 10 explosions. We then realized the building started to come down. Firefighter Joseph Mayola said, it looked like the building was blowing out on all four sides. We actually heard the pops. Paramedic Daniel Rivera also mentioned pops. Asked how he knew the South Tower was coming down, he said, it was a frigging noise. At first I thought it was, do you ever see professional demolition where they set the charges on certain floors and then you hear pop, 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 pop. That's what I thought it was. Explosion bombs in the secondary uh, explosion at uh, Tower 1 can. I've got five patients. They need to be treated. Firefighter Edward Kachia said it actually gave at a lower floor, not the floor where the plane hit. We originally had thought that there was like an internal explosion. We got another explosion on the tower, 1013, 1013, they are Because of the secondary explosion, we've got numerous people covered with dust from the secondary explosion. Assistant Commissioner Stephen Gregory said, I thought before number two came down that I saw low-level flashes. I saw a flash, flash, flash at the lower level of the building. You know, like when they demolish a building? Now it's new, I had a major explosion and what appears to be a complete collapse surrounding the entire area. Marine 6, just we were notified, Jason. Captain Karen DeShore said, somewhere around the middle there was this orange and red flash coming out. Initially it was just one flash. Then this flash just kept popping all the way around the building, and that building had started to explode. I got uh, an eyewitness who said there was an explosion on floor 7 and 8. 7 and 8. That's Tower 2. Firefighter Richard Benesiski, speaking of the South Tower, said, There was just an explosion. It seemed like on television when they blow up these buildings. It seemed like it was going all the way around like a belt. All these explosions. Deputy Commissioner Thomas Fitzpatrick said, It looked like sparkling around one specific layer of the building. My initial reaction was that this was exactly the way it looks when they show you these implosions on TV. A few witnesses spoke of horizontal ejections. Chief Frank Crothers said, There was what appeared to be an explosion. It appeared at the very top, simultaneously from all four sides. Materials shot out horizontally. And then there seemed to be a momentary delay before you could see the beginning of the collapse. This testimony is very important because the official theory says that the horizontal ejections were produced when the floors collapsed and pushed the materials out. So listen to firefighter James Curran who said, I looked back and I heard like every floor went choo choo choo. I looked back and from the pressure everything was getting blown out of the floors before it actually collapsed. If all these firefighters and medical workers witnessed all these phenomena suggestive of 
controlled demolition, it might be wondered why they have not spoken out. Part of the answer is probably provided by Auxiliary Lieutenant Fireman Paul Isaac. Having said that there were definitely bombs in those buildings, Isaac added that many other firemen know there were bombs in the buildings, but they're afraid for their jobs to admit it because the higher-ups forbid discussion of this fact. Isaac, for example, has more recently said, I know 9-11 was an inside job. The police know it's an inside job, and the firemen know it too. But you have not heard this on the nightly news.